Morning, guys. Welcome to Copy Chat. Mm. Well, guys, this morning, Judy and I are on our way out to California. We got some business and things to do out there, so we're spending some time just kind of like chilling here at the airport before our flight takes off. But the article that I was reading this morning, boy, I'll tell you what, this is amazing when you consider where it's coming from and what's going on. So this is coming out of the UK. And this is really wild because in the UK, of course, we all know that they have a lot of surveillance. It's probably one of the, London, by the way, is probably one of the biggest, most vast cities that has video surveillance. Basically, they can track you from your doorstep to wherever you're going all the way through your day until you get back home. But now what they're talking about is they have voted in the allowance of live facial recognition of their citizens. And what blows me away when you think about this, look, right over the pond, they're on, you know, on the EU side. The EU has actually backed away from that and have voted to not allow it. And of course, you know, you're seeing that in some US cities. Now, why is this as ironic as can be? Is of course, out of the UK came George Orwell, right? And of course, his 1984 and the whole surveillance state. Well, guys, here we are literally seeing, uh, it's almost like George Orwell was prophesying what was gonna come about because here it is. Now, the deal is this, they're utilizing, of course, AI technology to bring this all about and stuff like that. And this is the way in which the world is going in terms of their tracking. And obviously that's gonna coincide with central bank digital currencies. And of course, you know, you got the UK right on the forefront of this distributed ledger technology space moving ahead with their central bank digital currencies. And obviously in that, of course, you know, the three monetary instruments that there normally are in when we're talking about money and stuff like that, you know, unit of account, medium of exchange, store of value. Well, on top of that, they want to add a fourth one. And of course, that is the social control aspect. And you would think in a country there where the Magna Carta came out of, that they would absolutely be running the opposite direction, but these guys are embracing it like no tomorrow. I'll tell you what. Mm. Guys, you are literally seeing what's coming down the road with respect to a lot of these countries around the world. And don't kid yourself, if you think that the UK is taking a lead, think of all the other Commonwealth countries, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and the like. And they are going to take their, you know, take a, a little bit of a guide from what's happening already there in the UK. And it's a major, major deal. I mean, the fact of the matter that you're under constant surveillance, that in and of itself is kind of spooky. But the fact that they're literally going to be using live facial recognition, um, you know, basically, you know, driven by AI, that is really over the top. And it amazes me that you're not hearing even a bigger outcry from, you know, a lot of the citizenry for what's going on over there, considering the EU, I mean, the EU is so, you know, leaning on that side. And yet, even in the EU, they have not allowed it to go on to the degree that they're allowing it in the UK. And I think that this says a lot about the condition. I was reading an article not too long ago and so there was a lot of protesting going on and there were two guys in the protest there and what they were doing is they were holding up, you know, their British flag up there and the police came up to them and threatened them with arrest because they believed that what they were doing was in being interpreted by the rest of people around as being racist, holding up their own national flag. I mean, come on, that is absolutely ridiculous. Not even saying a word, just standing there holding up the flag. Boy, I'll tell you. Have we ever fallen from where we were? I mean, the folks that gave their lives. I mean, all of us, most of our families have relatives that literally paid the ultimate price in order for them over there, especially Britain. I mean, look what happened during World War II and how that country really suffered and then the industrial powerhouse that it became after World War II. And you're having a generation right now literally forfeit the very liberties that these men and women fought and died to protect. It is truly mind numbing. But guys, that's what's going on in the wide world. And it just shows you how disconnected really these leaders are from the people that they're there to represent. And it seems like more and more 
you know, these minority voices are getting the absolute majority of attention. And it is in a, in a way, guys, I'll tell you what, there's a payday coming. There always is, no matter what happens when you go down the road. And don't kid yourself. These economists that have set this whole situation up where, you know, they're giving out all this helicopter cash and things like that, that they did not come out and say, listen, with the inflationary result that's going to happen, this is going to affect people big time. And of course it is. I mean, you know, and this is also now affecting people's liberties. And of course, the whole narrative is, well, we're doing it for your security and da, 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 and on and on and on. And guys, that has nothing to do with this. This has to do with the state out there monitoring their citizens to the nth degree and don't kid yourself i really do believe unless people in the uk get out there and really advocate against this get their voices heard we are probably going to see them tracking people and social credit will be coming in to the commonwealth countries around the world i really believe unless we get out there and express our voices now that's exactly what's going to go down and that's why guys i'm always out there saying get out there make your voice heard because it is going to count believe it or not well guys i'll tell you what i sure hope you're going to have an absolutely amazing day and until later on when we do have a video for you it's going to be coming out of california i sure hope you have a great one and take care